Welcome to Revival is Here Again with Apostle Goodhart. God is about to speak directly to you as this message is guaranteed to impact your life. As you listen today, expect that God's Word has been sent in your direction to bring about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me to receive God's Word through His choice vessel, Apostle Goodhart O. Equeme. Third John 1 2 KJV and Amplify Classic. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Mm. NPC. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body, hear this now, may keep well, may keep well, may keep well. Even as I know your soul keeps well and prospers. Psalm 1611 MPC. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. For an assignment this morning, the healing presence of God. Our Father, once again, we thank you for the honor to gather again under this amazing open heavens. I beseech you again to take a coal of fire from the altar of heaven. Place upon the lips and the tongues of clay of this seven son of yours this day. That I may come to your people in this room and the multitudes across the nations. With a thus said the Lord. Let your healing word go forth. Expunging disease and infirmity from bodies, souls, minds, emotions, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Will thou us always, and the glory will be yours alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Let somebody like a thunder shout a big amen. You may be seated in God's wonderful presence. The healing presence of God. Saints, when we take time to survey the entirety of the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, we will not be in doubt about the will of God to heal man. His will is for you to be healed. We read moments ago that I desire above all. Above all is the desire of God for you and I to be well and whole. Is that divine healing and divine help? God does not only desire for your well being, beloved, He has already in turn made adequate provision for it. It's provided for in redemption, it's part of the package of being in Christ to walk in health, to walk in strength, to walk in vigor, to walk in vitality. It's not only affordable, but it's available. It's yours for the taking. It's part of the buffet of redemption. (laughs) So I prepare before you, your enemies, uh, uh, um, prepare before your enemies, a table before your enemies. Praise the Lord. So there's a banquet or a table for your enemies. Thank you, media. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of the enemies. And that's right. And thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. There is a table prepared before you. And part of the meal prepared before you is healing. You know, when you board a flight from here to perhaps London, there are certain things the waitress or the waiter will present to you. It's your choice to accept or decline. 
You say, oh, I'm full. I'm okay. I don't want this rice. You can pass over. You know. But somebody right next to you, everything that comes, they say, oh, I, 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 bring, bring, bring. <laughs> you know what? They understand that everything provided for has been paid for by you. It's on your ticket. So it's your choice to take what has been paid for. So divine healing has been paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's affordable. It's available. It's takeable. And I believe somebody under the sound of this preacher this morning, you are going to take what God made available for you. There's healing with your name on it. I believe somebody who came here with some kind of weakness, some kind of infirmity, some kind of disease, you are not living the same way. You're living strong. You're living vibrant. You're living energized. You're living healed. You're living whole. Somebody shout a big amen. Hallelujah. If I were you, I would take all Jesus provided for. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in 1 John 3 verse 8, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Hear this now. For this purpose, for this reason, the Son of God was manifested. He was revealed. He was unveiled. That he might, he might destroy the works of the devil. That word destroy, in English, a big grammar is discombobulated. <laughs> is to disintegrate to a point where you cannot gather again. He came to destroy the works of the devil. And part of the works of the devil is sickness and disease. Hello somebody. Sickness is not a work of your God. It's a work of the devil. God does not have sickness. So he can't tempt you with sickness. A man can only give what he has. God doesn't have it. The devil has it. John 10 10. The thief does not come. But when he comes, he comes with a threefold mandate. Number one, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. You know, we quoted, you know, just kill, destroy. No, 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 no. It is an order. Before the devil has the audacity to kill and destroy, he will first have to steal. Hello, sir. If you stop him from stealing, he can't kill nor destroy. Yes, sir. He can't kill nor destroy. The question is, what does he steal? Very simple. He steals the word. Hello, sir. He steals the word. Because when the word spoken to you is stolen from your heart, there is no strength, no power to resist him. He comes to steal. He says, thief of the word. And when he steals the word, he steals faith. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Romans 10, 17. If he steals the word, he steals joy. Hello somebody. Because joy is a byproduct of the word. If he steals the word, he steals peace. He said, peace I give unto you. How? By the words I spoke. So the primary thing the devil wants to steal is the word. Hallelujah. But Jesus said, I've come with one mission. Hi-ya, hi-ya. I've come to give life. Listen, brother, sister. Not just managing life. Kondo kala. Too many believers, they are on the managing lane of life. You're not called to be a manager. You're called to be an executor of the word. Did you hear me? <laughs> Once he spoke, twice I heard that power belongs to God. You're called to execute God's word. By standing on his word. By agreeing. <laughs> 
What do you agree with? By his stripes you were healed. Agree. <laughs> you are blessed with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Agree. You will live and not die. Agree. <laughs> because you serve him. He has blessed your bread, your water. So therefore, he has taken from you sickness, disease, and infirmity. None shall cast their young. None shall be barren. And the number of your days he will fulfill. Agree. I agree. I agree that you will live and not die. I agree that your numbered days will be fulfilled. What a day. Psalm 90, 16. With long life. Not short life. If you want to die, die. I want to live, live. Your choice. With long life. Will he what? Satisfy you. Until you are satisfied. Keep living. Nothing takes you out untimely. You are a child of covenant. There's oil on your life. That oil says, Touch not. Psalm 105 15. Touch not the Lord's anointed. You're anointed. Do he said no harm. You're anointed. Shout with me, I'm anointed. You're anointed. A buffet, he said before you, and healing is part of the meal. And this morning, somebody is going to take your healing. Amen. Your amen sounds like it is revival. Amen. Give me three fire rice, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How God, Acts 38, anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Even the Messiah was anointed. With what, brother? With the Holy Ghost and with power. So therefore, semicolon or colon, he went about doing good and doing what? Healing what some, few, most, Many healing all who are what oppressed of the devil. Why? For God was with him. It's, it's clear there. You don't need any overt interpreter. The oppressor is who? Satan. Satan. And the healer is who? Jesus. The anointer is who? God. What's the anointing? The Holy Ghost and power. Hey. What side are you on? God's side or the devil? You're on God's side. I'm done with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. And part of what it means, beloved, listen, part of what it means to do good is to heal the sick. In the Bible, when people were healed, it was said, and they glorified God. So healing glorifies God. Sickness doesn't bring him glory. Hmm. No, 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 super to How God anointed Jesus Christ to the Holy Ghost of power. We saw in the last healing service, Acts 13, verse 8, that Jesus Christ is the same. What he did yesterday, he's doing today. He'll do again tomorrow. Beloved. I want to emphasize something this, on this service. What we read in our text in 3 John 2 is indicative that God's best for you and I, listen carefully, is not to be sick and need to be healed. Alright? But is to be healed and stay well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, divine healing is good. If you need it, go for it. Yeah. But the best God has for you is you are healed and you stay well. So I would that you be in health. 
that your location and your address is in hell. Glory to God. 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 It is possible to live days, weeks, and months, and years without having the need for healing. Why? Your whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A man by name E.W. Kenyon pastored a congregation and is on record that for, I think, 25 years, he did not bury anybody under 70. And if you think that's luck or fluke in one year, not 25 years, I say it again. A pastor of a church like this, Roger, and the one pastor, by the virtue of what he taught, what he preached, for 25 years, nobody was buried or died under 70. Huh. <laughs> the word works. It's not luck. It's light. It's revelation. And I'm praying that by the mercy of God, that the light coming your way, coming my way, will provoke us to desire not divine healing, but divine health. There comes a point in time you and I should be distributors of life and health. And no God, no. you walk into the banking hall, people are falling under the power. Why? You are carrying too much life. <laughs> this, these, are, these are days of revival. If it happened then, much more will happen today. If a shadow of a human being anointed will heal the sick, raise the dead, how much more you? Hallelujah. 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 Divine health is better than divine healing. And it takes, I'll tell you what it takes to walk in divine health shortly. We'll get there. Saints, faith is required. Please listen carefully. We're teaching now. Faith is required to lay hold of what grace has made available. Available. So, there are two sides of the equation. One side is grace. The other side is faith. And grace is not just a thing. Grace is a person. That person is called Jesus Christ. John 1, 12 to 14. The law, 14, 15 actually. The law was given by Moses. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ as a person epitomizes both grace and truth. So his grace, his grace. Oh yeah. Bible declares in Titus 2.11 The grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared unto all men. It's a person called grace. The law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Jesus. And we're told that grace has appeared. Oh, yeah. It's no longer concealed. It is, it is here. It's Christ. But you see, grace will only remain power available or kinetic, or no, potential energy until faith activates it for that person's life. Hello? So grace can be available to a church, but five are walking in the grace. How? Their faith. Oh, yeah. We're going somewhere. We'll get there by God's grace. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Let me go ahead of myself to buttress this point. In Luke 5, we're told that Jesus Christ on a certain day was preaching. Just like on a certain day I'm preaching. Luke 5, 15 declared, as he proclaimed the word of God, there was power to heal the multitudes in that room. There was power to heal the multitudes in that room. Many came to hear him. Verse 17. And it came to pass, thank you, on a certain day, as he was teaching, not shouting, not preaching, 
You know, your pastor is a preacher to the core, but you're just teaching, just teaching, just teaching, just teaching. But even in what seems to be, seems to be, seems to be the simplicity of the teaching gift. <laughs> there were Pharisees there, doctors there, which we came out to hear every time. Hear this. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Oh boy. Even though the power of the anointing was present, nobody in the room took advantage of the present power. Ah, yeah. Read the story. Four friends of a man that was bedridden tried to get access to the room where there was power. <laughs> Yet nobody was using the power. They were impressed there. You know how you can be in logic? You hear Sunday sermon, Wednesday sermon, but somehow your life, God forbid not you, your life doesn't seem to have the kind of color that reflects what you're hearing. You're hearing words of revival, but your life doesn't look revived. Same congregation. But these men say, no, we can't waste the power. We know there's power in that church. There's power in logic. They came. The protocol blocked them from seeing this church. Hello, somebody. They said, no, we can't go like this. They tore the roof open. There's something called roof tearing faith. Makote Kada. That is a faith that speaks of desperation. That I must get it now or never. They tore the roof cut up. I pray somebody under the sound of my voice. You are tired of being tired. And you are willing to tear the roof to receive your healing. Shout a big amen. Whilst you preached there was power available. But nobody took advantage of the power. I connected to Calibre. It's not that your pastor got anointed. It's not that the choir got anointed. No, sir. Check your faith level. Do you really believe? I said, let this man down in a rope. We were told the man became healed. Oh, yeah. My question is, what were they all doing there in the midst of power but not taking advantage? I pray that somebody today will take advantage of the power available in this house. Shout a big amen. amen. So Titus 2.11 says, ah, Amplified Classic says, For the grace of God, His unmerited favor and the blessing has come forward, appeared. Yeah. For what? For the deliverance from sin. And the eternal salvation for all mankind is available. It's available. Look at Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. KJV. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. What's going on here? Grace has appeared. Power has appeared. But guess what? It takes faith to receive what grace has given. You know, a gift can be given but not received. Some guys are good givers, but they are poor receivers. Slow down, think about it. You know, for many years, my wife and I had similar challenge. We're not very good receivers. Over time, we had to learn to receive. Because we felt we should give and give and give. So it's possible for a gift to be given to you, but see, I, don't, I don't deserve it. No, no, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. But the point is, God gave you the gift. Don't turn down the gift of God. Come, Dayata Bala. God will send the raven to feed you. Don't turn down the food, prophet. You may starve to death. Said I will send a raven to feed you night and day. Bread and, and meat. 
And when the brook dries, I will send you to a widow in Zarephath. Don't get there and play humility, you may die. Oh, widow, I can't even. No, God sent you there. <laughs> you got to be a good receiver. Praise God. Enjoy giving, enjoy receiving. That's what life is all about. So, the things daddy in heaven has given us. But the question is, to what degree are we receiving? And what you used to receive is faith. Faith. As you study the scriptures, you find that grace is constant in the equation. But faith is variable. Your faith can grow. Please listen. I beg of you in the name of the Lord. Your faith can decrease. Please listen. This will change your life. Your faith can grow. Your faith can decrease. What happens when your faith grows? Listen carefully. When your faith grows, listen carefully. Listen carefully. The challenges of yesterday becomes almost irrelevant today because your faith has grown. Oh, come on. Did you hear that? Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. There are certain things in your life you've been crying to God to change. God sometimes will tell you, I won't change them as you think, as you change them. What I want you to do is to grow out of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about you, I'm preaching myself really happy. Weep not. Don't cry anymore. The pressure is to be turned to power. Yeah. There are only dumbbells in the gymnasium of life. The naysayers, the mockers, the betrayers, those who refused and called you black sheep never do well. Let them be. Just walk your walk. Keep walking. Stretch your stuff. Don't let their voice stop you from taking the next step. Why? The day will come when those that laugh at you, they will laugh at you with you, Sarah. Sarah's mockers had to laugh with her when she showed up with Isaac. May God give you your own Isaac. Isaac means laughter. I decree and declare over you in the places where you weep once. Get ready for laughter. Why? We've come into a season of laughter. The night is over. The tears are over. Somebody is going to laugh. On the job, you're going to laugh. Concerning your health, you're going to laugh. Concerning your money, your honey, you are going to laugh. Concerning this ministry, we are going to laugh. I was in the car some days ago, one of my sons, and he said, Daddy, what God is doing in Rutgers is amazing. He said, and he said to me, he said, but when we began, it did not look like, I said, I know what you're saying. We were laughed at. I was laughed at. Ha, ha, ha. Sarah, they're coming to laugh with you. And they will thank God you walked your walk long enough for them to be blessed. Oh, you didn't hear me? Let me say it again. Let me say it again. There are people who laugh at you, but they fail to know that their healing was tied to you standing. Did you hear me? Let me say it again. There are those who mock you, but they fail to know their breakthrough was tied to you standing. Oh, you break forth and break forth and break forth and break forth. Men shall wonder how, where, what, when. You say, this is the doing of the Lord. It's marvelous in our eyes. My God, I feel him all over me. <laughs> February 2 I paced up and down this altar I called my daughter Ego and I spoke we are going global 
I prophesied to her over there. The word was released January 2, Kanoka Yataka. Nine months after, oh, Ego has delivered the prophecy. Ego has her document, employment, and legal papers not to go to London like a rat, not to wash place. Guess what? To earn pounds sterling and to live well. Hey, we have gone global. Gestation period. Shakopa. January 2, October 2, she's 25. You are going global. Pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute. Receive that testimony in your life, in your marriage, in your ministry. I wish I can lay hands on all of you. This impartation now. There's impartation now. Impartation now. Receive it at the back. Online, on site. Receive impartation for a global time. There are no coincidences in God. It's only a sign that you may believe. It's a sign. You may believe who was sent to you. And I go normal loco take it. lagaba. With every sense of respect and humility, upon my lips is a voice for this country. It's not it's not guesswork. One of the voices in this country is here. Then the Anna also, Yana. Larry Anna, and all the other guys. Brago Yana, and all the other guys. Brian, Responsibility, my responsibility. Haya, oh boy. Edu Sumano, oh boy. Edu Sumano, Edu Sumano, Edu Sumano, Edu Sumano. Can I be vulnerable to you? In my secret chamber, I've asked the Lord often times. That this vision you show me is is so large, who will fund it? Edu Sumeno. Edu Sumeno. I believe there are seven principal men and women in this house. Edu Sumeno. That will rise three months, six months. They will come into untold wealth. Edu Sumeno. He's comforting me. Edu Sumeno. 
untold well they will know they were made for this assignment I, I got into McCordy in the conference there. My son is here, the resident pastor of uh, Roger McCordy. And the Lord began to put in my heart, go to Joss. I, I became afraid. I said, God, this money we bond here, where would it come? He said, are you sending yourself? So I, my excuse, bring the money, I'll go. I do some man. The money is here. It is here. You have the money, it's here. Let me please try to help you know that this division is large. It's, it's large, my sister. It's, for me, it's, it's a concern. But my comfort, he has told me that one thing is you won't lack. Just stand up and do my will. I mean, they played GPPA yesterday. I got embarrassed. But, but this girl, Yobe, look, I say, hey, we will all the stations. He, he, he. But they've been going on for years. A do semeno. If I tell you the budget every year for 27 stations, you'll fr- you, you freak out. We could have probably built something. But a do semeno. Call that. He's funding it. Don't change it. He's committed to providing. Where he has sent you. If you choose to go somewhere else, you'll be on your own. <laughs> you can't be too smart for God. We're only puppets in his hand. Go, you go, come, come. He makes you look wonderful because you obey him. Look at your life shining in Nigeria like this. You're looking like you live in a, some country. It's grace. Edu Simeno. Anoko to Perotes. Evandia to Pelo. May your hand be right towards God. And you'll be one of the chosen vessels. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mark this one. Three months, six months, new money will come in this house. Hekobalite. Esanto penite kete. Agonia toperosa. Egono. Dagole. Sekepe. 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 So, you've invested. In the new Nigeria, you step a claim in the new Nigeria, it shall be so. Soon to be takune, takune, takune. Oh, there are those who have made available inhabitants in the coming season. Apportionment, a location with the name on it. Sumerikiti, ekobara, pekotikapa. Oh, it shall be as though they were wired for those jobs and those posts and those contracts. Why? For the sake of my kingdom. Edusimeno 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 Ye kana na no send the under kaka Ye la 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 ye Kraba yo no send o kayande This high call of angels Ye kana na ya de 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 anda Kraba yo no suki ana ne ne Ragadaya no 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 yeah they are coming Graba ya no 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 no
His presence, His presence, His presence. Thou will show me the path of life. Hey, my God. May God show you the path of life. Ha. In His presence, there is fullness of joy. Included healing at his right hand. Guess what? They are pleasure, not pressure. Let me speak to you this morning. May God turn your pressure points into pleasures in the name of Jesus. Your amen sounds questionable. Your amen is revival. Your amen is fantasy. Your amen. May God turn your pressure point into pleasure. In the name of Jesus, every burden you came with to this house today, listen. Isaiah 10 27. In that day, the yoke shall be taken from your shoulder the burden and his yoke of your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed guess what because of your prayer your sacrifice your, your love walk your evangelism no, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like running now because of the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing is defined as the burden lifted, yoke destroying power of God. Edoke, Iduka, Epukanite, Ifonipero Patekete. The Bible declares in Psalm 107 verse 20 This is one way for the anointing to be released By the word, by the word, by the word He sent his word His word healed them And his word delivered them from their destruction I don't know what burden you came with. I don't know what yoke you came with. By the virtue of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, yokes be destroyed, burdens be lifted. Ephata, ears open now. Eyes open now. Life begin to walk. Heart condition begin to be right. Kidney disease, I cast you from the root. Hypertension, high blood pressure, crap to normal. How? The anointed. The anointed. Hey, the anointed. At the back, the anointed. Through the airway, the anointed. Hello, somebody. In the front, the anointed. The is front. Enemy set before you. There's one barrier that was over my life, over my family. My father was a very good number two. In my mind, he's the best president Nigeria never had. Like it or not, that's my opinion. But so qualified, so eligible. 
the number one post eluded him and i saw in my life i was about to be a good number two and i enjoyed it i loved it didn't desire more but god turned the table said no you're happy here i've called you for something unique what your dad was not able to attain in the natural by his mercy you'll attain in the spiritual what are the limits looming over your life over your genealogy your paternity your maternity my the virtue of the anointing the limits broken down in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus go higher go forward no more limits no more barriers my single sisters no more barriers my single brothers no more barriers Mary, no teachers no more barriers some people like a joke when God will do some strange act here. It go be like cinema. I mean, it go be like magic. We are the edge. We are the precipice. It go be like video. Eye pop. Bam. Legs turn. Bam. We're there. Oh, I can see. Bam. It's, it's, it's here. The power is here. Romano yeso paliadeka Train the Holy Ghost Receive our anointing His presence His presence Healing presence Healing presence Healing presence Please, as a spiritual father, I want to beg you. I beg you. Rogic home is not about one boy called Good Heart. I beg you. Don't be spiritually lazy. You've allowed yourself to be carried by others for too long. Your spiritual liability is dangerous. Pray, come pray. Open this Bible. Open. Listen, we're in the last days. These days are wicked and perilous. I read this morning as I prepared my heart, Matthew 24, that in this day and age, wickedness will abound so much that even the elect will be narrowly saved. By mercy, he will shorten the days for the elect's sake. That's what we live in. And you just live your life carelessly. Loosely, Friday your nightclub, people Sunday you're clapping. It's dangerous. You can't keep your legs together. From Dubai to Kemi to Shadi. Why do you talk that I'm sent to talk like this? For your own soul. No more by suit and tie. It's dangerous. Don't do the one that makes you become leper and say, Oh, it's devil. It's not devil. You broke the hedge. Do you know where you are? He didn't just touch. No, sir. Act 5. Ananias died. Bam. Sapphira, John. Bam. When those days. Say, mercy, Lord. You lie like a fish. It's, to, it's, like, it's like the devil. Say, the devil's natural language is to lie. You just lie. No conscience pricking you. 
Are you even born again? Haba. Your business is neither here nor there. Willing dealing. Running racket to people that you know they're not in the faith. And yet you're in the house of revival. Kusi choir. You can see I'm not a crowd puller. I respect people who are on screen. Million followers. Billion followers. What else, sir? Let me be following Jesus. Whoever will follow me, two, three, four, is okay. I'm not about followers. I'm about trying to follow him. Paul said, follow me only as I follow him. Don't follow everybody. You follow, 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 follow. You follow noisemakers. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Popular is not right. Fable is not right. There are people you never hear of. They are, they are, they are praying like Anna for the consolation of Israel. Never know about them. No Facebook at all. Account. They don't even know Facebook. Then they really pray for you and me. I can tell you with all humility, there are people all over the world praying for this boy and this mandate. So what you see, not me. I'm powerful. No. There are days I don't even do hard work, but I see God move. Why? God has invested in this mandate. But we have prayed some for 10 years. Some prayed me out of my last location. I didn't even know I was in any location. But they knew I was time bound. Pray him out. I said, you're wicked, though. Ah, what can, what can I better you? Ah, I was enjoying myself there now. I was a big boy. Seven floors. I was Juno Gio. PFN chairman. You pray me away to go and suffer. How oh, wicked. But they know the mind of God. He said, when I saw you there, I knew that one day you must be out. I said, really? Said, Wonderful. God bless you. But he prayed. So one time I prayed, I got me out. People prayed. I can tell you on a good note, there are those who are not a member of your church. They are praying that this thing cannot fail. But you're here playing jingolo, jingolo. 5 a.m. You don't, you're not on GPPA. You're just snoozing and turning your leg anyhow. God bless you. One knockout from Satan, you won't have what to hold it. I'm telling you. The devil is a bastard. He's a wicked devil. He has no mercy at all. You must fortify yourself in these last days. Any friend who is a poor down friend, delete them. I've had to delete numbers. I have blocked numbers on my phone. Block, 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 block. Why? They will not help my destiny. You come, you can't find me. I've blocked your name. You are no good to my destiny. I'm challenging your own spirituality. Come here on Friday. Saturday is brandy. Pastor, is he about to drink? Ask yourself, is he about to drink? Can you drink in front of me? Can you drink in front of Jesus? There are things that go with brandy. Women, cigar. They, they are friends. They are bedfellows. Then you move to higher things. <laughs> this consent is questionable. Crowd everywhere. Everybody's born. Everybody's born again. How heavenly bound are you? Born again what? Please, I beg of you. Five a.m. Try and pray now. Wednesday, don't come to church. But if you watch Arsenal and Man, you sit down. You ask now, ah, Arsenal and Man, you. your life is going. Look at your age. How long do you have to live? Then you don't want to make an impact with your life. This one will remain in. Hampa. A word is enough for the wise. Engage your spirituality. In a year, how many verses have you read on your own? On your own, on your own. It has a revival. Like in that place, the power was there, but nobody was receiving the, 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 the anointing. Until some tear. Let me tell you something that God told me. So you can know part of my little Holy Ghost madness. He told me. He told me. Oh, one. He told me. There are those who began this work with me. <laughs> who the fire is not upon, I will not be upon. Listen. There will be a displacement and a replacement. Listen, this is my consolation. So whoever is going will be going. He told me, and I'm telling publicly, that there are those who are not here who are more prepared for this revival than those who have been here for five years. See finish is a problem. Why do you say that publicly? Just so you can know that I'm okay for those who are on their way out, for those who are coming. 
I pray you stay. No kude, ekuda bayataba, loku mendikiti, top pop, tipa. Those who God said are not afraid to speak God's word. They're not businessmen. I'm not calculating type of it. Can I confess to you? Two things I'm not keen on doing. God be with us. Checking the number of attendants, it comes to me, and the offering. I scarcely gl- glows away. Why? I don't want to be lulled into thinking that statistics of numbers and money indicate how anointed I am. Mm, bam, bam, bam. And many are caught in the web of A, B, C. A, attendance. B, building. C, cash. Many colleagues, attendance. They cry for it. Oh, oh. the most feature to grow is not for. It's so that their church can be big, not the lost church. Then the building, you know what? Our building, our building, our building. How many times in your life have you heard me talk about building project here? In your life, you are my assignment, not building by God's grace. Or tell you money, you don't know how much GPA costs. It may scare you away, so I won't tell you. Let my faith drive the GPA. Attendance, building, and cash. These are the tendencies of pastor, my sons, who are ministering with me. Do your work. Study, pray, preach. Don't be discouraged with those three things. Why? Nobody can add to anybody. Paul planted. Apollos watered. Only God can give increase. Just be sure you're planting well. You're watering well. Leave the rest to God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Father, we lift our hearts and our voices to thank you for the honor to break bread. This beautiful first Sunday, Exodus 23 25 declares, As we serve you, you bless our bread and our water. You take fire from most sickness and disease. So let it be Lord over this element in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there be any ways we'll transgress in thought, in word, in deed today, Lord, we'll come under the blood asking for mercy, for mercy, for mercy, and for mercy, and for the grace that makes for forgiveness. If you're here online, on site, not born again, take this moment to invite Jesus into your heart. The covenant meal is a meal between covenant children and their covenant father. If you're not born again, you're completely exempt from the covenant. You're here saying, man of God, pray with me. I really want to connect sincerely with this. Or perhaps you know that your own brand of Christianity is your own brand. Very shaky, very wobbly, lost fire, a lot of compromise. It's time to catch on fire. Shall we pray this prayer together sincerely? Heavenly Father, I want to hear you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I open the door of my heart as I invite you, Jesus. Be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me all of my sins. This day I decree and declare that Jesus Christ is both my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name, Amen. We believe that you have been tremendously blessed by the ministry of Apostle Goodhart Obi Ekweme. It is our conviction that this message has begun a mighty work in your life. And we pray that the grace for prompt obedience to the Word of God will rest upon you. We look forward to hear and celebrate your testimonies with great expectations.